Hello, I'm at GuffMHouse.com. This is Kyle Stamus from Smith. And we're going to walk you through the fixed and adjustable ventilation systems and why you should want one over the other or not uh, from the Smith lineup for 2020. Kyle, welcome back. Guff. <laughs> we do the same intro every time. I know. we got to switch it up next yeah, time. Yeah, we got to switch it up next time. Maybe uh, goggles will switch it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. All right. uh, well, welcome, really welcome back to the house. It's always nice to have you in. Uh, we're huge supporters of the Smith products. You guys are the market leader in both goggles and in uh, optics, yep. which is great. Um, you have air vac ventilation, incredible technology when it comes to uh, uh, ultimate integration of goggles and helmets together. Um, but we, we kind of want to talk about, about ventilation systems, yes. right? There's, there's kind of passive systems that are fixed Correct. and they're... Um, Non-passive systems. Regulator active. systems that you can adjust. Open and close the vents on the right. top side of that. Right. What do you think is going to draw... What, is, what does each system do uh, in, in conjunction with the uh, air vac airflow systems that sure. Smith has designed? And why would one person be drawn to, to this system versus this system? Right. So we'll start out with just what they both have. Okay. Um, I guess all, the, uh, all Smith helmets will feature this kind of technology, which is, to your point, the airbag system. Mm. So the most important part of you know, any kind of airflow technology that's going to come out of any helmet is um, that hot air that's going to build up in your goggles really needs somewhere to go and somewhere to escape to. So yes. uh, first, first and foremost, you know, whether it be up our top line helmet, something like the Vantage, or down here um, at more of our entry price point like the Scout, what you're going to automatically find is they're going to first and foremost have two ventilation points um, on the front side of the helmet. So first place that hot air can go directly up and over the top of the helmet. Mm -hmm. um, moving further from there, uh, all helmets, whether it be fixed um, or adjustable here, will have exhaust ports on the back side. So that hot air that does build up either in your goggle or on the top side of your head um, is going to easily move through the back side of the helmet and out these exhaust ports. Um, like a Ferrari. Like a Ferrari. Like a Ferrari. Like a Ferrari. Um, one thing that we're taking this technology actually a step further uh, is we're actually going, going to be building channels, our air vac system, into the underside of the helmet. So we actually have little grooves that we manufacture directly into the materials in the helmet so that that hot air has channels that will directly pull it um, towards the back side of the helmet and easily, uh, easily escape without those exhaust ports in the back. So that's what they all share. Mm. Uh, in terms of the difference between a fixed system and a adjustable system, uh, more of the rudimentary fixed system here, you're not going to have any kind of articulation, uh, open closed vents. Um, people will do this for more of a style feature. You're going to have a cleaner, more of a low profile design um, in some of these fixed systems. Uh, they do still breathe pretty well. Uh, a lot of times when people are wearing this style helmet, sometimes they'll take out the ear pads, which you can do in any of the Smith helmets, um, and they'll put their own little beanie on the underside, or if you've got a nice spring day, maybe they won't be wearing any kind of uh, uh, ear warmth protection. Right. You know, one thing I really enjoy about, about Smith helmets is that they do a great job at fitting a wide range of head shapes. Yes. So, you know, get, get the helmet that's going to fit your head the best or is the most comfortable. Correct. But just because this looks like an aesthetic that would be found most in the park doesn't mean that you... You can only wear this at the park. No, you know, absolutely Just because not. this system or that helmet looks a little bit more, you know, like all mountainish. Right. Doesn't mean you, you, you can't. I mean, you can wear this in the park as well. They kind of go vice versa. They serve the same purpose. Right. So getting into some more of the ventilation aspects, um, Guff here has the mission on right now. Uh, what you're going to find if you take that guy off for me. This one has a single point uh, articulation piece here actually does have two different positions, but it only has one valve that's going to open and close the entire helmet. Um, has some deep grooves here, so it's the air is going to have to work um, to really get onto the underside of your head. Um, moving up to a different shell construction, we have your in-mold construction up top here. Um, this one will actually have two ventilation points, mm. so you can go just the front side, you can close that off, still have a bunch of evacuation points in the back, or you can close that thing completely off, nice spring day, right. you're nice and warm, working hard, you can open both of those up and really have right. the most airflow that's going to be able to come to the underside. Um, something with the construction here is you're going to see when you get your hands on this product that uh, that ventilation system, the open and close, is going to be right there next to the shell piece, so that air is going to be able to easily um, get down down into, and into your head and cool you off. Whereas something uh, in more of your entry level price point, the air might have to work a little bit harder to dig down into the, the deeper grooves here. Got it, got it. I suppose this is a, a touch more aerodynamic because the, the, the vent 
uh, closure system is closer to the shell of the Correct. helmet, the air will flow qu more quickly over the top. You won't be like, you right. have a lot of air. It's or easier. Drag. It's pulled in easier onto the top side of your head. Right. Now, uh, <clears throat> when, you, when you ride, which, which one are you going to be... In Tend to ride more so I'm, I'm more of an, like an all-mountain rider. Um, <laughs> the Vantage is what I've been using for a couple of years. I absolutely love this helmet. I do like that it has that dual position um, opening at the top. Um, I've ridden in you know negative 15, 20 degree weather. I've never had to wear a beanie or a ball wow. clava underneath. Um, I've also ridden in some spring days where I've actually you know popped the ear pads right out of this thing and had uh, had a nice cool cool ride as well. Right. You know I've always been drawn to this. This is uh, which one's uh, do we have the Maisel here? Uh, I think we grabbed two scouts, but the maze, scouts. Is, the maze is going to perform <laughs> just like the, the scout will in terms yeah. of airflow. Yeah, I, I tend to ride the maze a lot because it's, it's extremely lightweight. Um, it has a park aesthetic, but as, I, as I'm starting to get a little older, yep. I'm finding myself kind of drawn more to all mountain instead of just being in the park. Sure. So I might, I might gravitate towards this, you know, wear some more Gore-Tex, get some more bigger boards and right. stuff. And yeah, we might might be seeing an advantage this year. Might on the mountain. Might, might be. Might be. Like that. Well, cool. Well, uh, Kyle, thanks again for being here. Yeah, absolutely, Jeff. Cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, you know, it kind of all comes down to what your needs are as a rider. Do you feel like you need a fixed ventilation system, like you find the scouts and the mazes? Or do you need an adjustable ventilation system like you find in this great best value price point? Mission helmet or a super high-tech Vantage? Um, Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again for being here, and hopefully we'll see you guys on stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, Smith is a great brand that we've uh, always loved here at the house. They're made in America, and they're an industry leader in making and manufacturing helmets and goggles. Remember to subscribe to the channel there, and check out more vids there, and hopefully we'll see you on snow. Peace.